What is going on guys? Iggy Fresh here with another LSPDFR tutorial. Today I will show you how to replace cars in LSPDFR and also how to replace textures. Um, so it's going to be an all-in-one tutorial. Um, we're going to be using, we're actually going to be replacing uh, our undercover car. So this one here. Um, it's also known as Police 4. Uh, but we'll get into that later. Um, so this is the car that we'll be replacing. As you can see, it's a, it's a factory LSPDFR car. And let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to uh, gta5-mods.com slash tools slash open4. And that's open IV for uh, Roman numeral 4. Uh, once you get here, this is going to be an open4 2.7 is the most current uh, version. Just download it and install it. Um, it's it's crucial, and this is this is the only program that you will use uh, to replace cars in the game, and also update textures. Once you have Open4 installed, when you first launch it, it's going to ask you um, which directory your Grand Theft Auto 5 resides in. Um, so mine's not going to ask me because I've already provided it. Um, but basically, it'll ask you where the Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory is um, with all of the main files such as Grand Theft Auto 5.exe and um, basically the main files. So just provide the directory and uh, you won't have to do it again. Next, you will have to go to lspdfr.com and this is where I get all my cars and my textures. Um, so go on, uh, click on mods, downloads. So today I will show you how to update Undercover Crown Vic. Um, to find it, you just click on vehicle models. Um, I just know where it's located. Usually I sort by the highest rated, um, just because I want to avoid the glitches and the cars looking weird and everything. So the good thing is, as you can see, there's a lot of high-rated cars. So you have a lot of things to choose from. But here it is right here. It's the unmarked CVPI pack. Um, just click on it. And there are different versions. Um, as he's stating, there's unmarked CVPI with um, SAP package, uh, with a chrome grill, and so on and so forth. Um, there's different versions here, so m once you do download this file, it'll come with three different um, versions that you can pick. Um, you can obviously install only one, but most of the car downloads will only come with one version. This is just uh, um, the Knight Kid here, he just created three different cars, and you can pick which package you want to use. Alright, so we're going to do that. And to replace vehicle textures, I've actually gone into textures. And again, I did the same thing. I sorted it by highest rated. And this is the one I will be using, um, the 4K CVPI um, based models skin pack. And it comes with different um, textures here. Uh, the one I really kind of like is the CHP one and that's the one that I'll um, put on that car. One thing to keep in mind is that the textures will not work on every single car so it's very imperative that you read which models um, the textures will work with. Um, these textures will actually work with the art car so it's not an issue but I just kind of wanted to stress that just because you have a Crown Vic in the game doesn't mean that it will fit your car. Um, so pay close attention to uh, which models, right? So it's right here, um, which models the textures will apply to. And a lot of times what I do is I, I go on vehicle textures and I sort by highest rated, of course. Um, and you can, uh, once you click on one of them, so for instance, this one here, it'll actually tell you which cars they work with and the download links for those cars right so um, the user here army1257 has created textures for these three cars 
the 2015 Charger RT with the download link, uh, Police Interceptor with the download link, and the 1999 Ford Crown Victoria with the download link. So that way you can download the cars and then apply the textures to them and you know that they will work. One thing to note is that you don't need to replace textures, right? You can always just go to vehicle models. If you like the way the car looks, you don't need to update the textures. So if this car here, you want to download it, and you like the texture, you don't need to replace it. It'll come with this texture. So just one thing to keep in mind. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you how to install the car and also how to replace the texture. So I've already downloaded the uh, unmarked um, Crown Vic and I've downloaded the texture pack here. They're both on my desktop. Um, so let's go ahead and actually uh, unpack. So the one I want to do, the one I want to install is uh, the honeycomb uh, grill with steel wheels. So we'll just extract it from the zip file. I'll just throw it on my desktop for now. And uh, obviously we want to go into uh, installation files. And we will be installing the Police 4 vehicle. And I'll show you later how to tell um, what to do. And that's going to be an open 4. Um, but we need instructions for that. So let's open up instructions, uh, installation instructions for the police four vehicle, and the, which is, which is the uh, the unmarked police vehicle in LSPDFR. <clears throat> so we'll throw it to the right here, out of the way. So next, let's open up Open Four, and under Grant of Auto Five, click on Windows it should open up in your main directory, the Grand Theft Auto 5. So the creator here recommends us to go to this location and replace police 4 files. So let's, uh, let's follow this path in Open 4. So we're already in Grand Theft Auto 5. We just have to go to uh, X64E. If you scroll down a little bit, it's going to be right here. Double click on that, double click on levels, double click on GT5, and vehicles.rpf. Now if you scroll down, there's a lot of cars here. You should be able to find police 4. Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is, right here. And again, if you want to double check what car you're replacing, all you have to do is double click on Police 4 or whatever the name may be, that YFT. Double click on that and it'll show you the car itself. And as you can see, there's no there's no textures on this car. Um, so this is the unmarked um, unmarked Crown Vic that we will be installing. So that's how you know. Um, let me show you another one. So police three, for instance, double click on that. And this is the police interceptor. So this is how you can tell which car you're replacing. So just to be sure, um, do that before you replace the car. But we will be replacing police four. So let's do that. And first, before you replace anything, I like to keep backups of all my cars. So I can always, always revert back to factory. So what we'll do is we'll highlight all, all of these files, the police 4 files. We're going to right click and we're going to extract. And we're going to throw them actually, I've already created a folder, a backup folder in my Grand Theft Auto 5 um, main directory. So it's going to be in backup and it's going to be the FBI Police 4. So we're going to select and that exports these four files. So if I ever want to revert back I have the original files. Alright so now what we need to do is we need to uh, replace these four files with the four files that we've downloaded. So let me move this to the side 
Uh, we're gonna keep this later because we'll need to modify the vehicles that made a file. Um, but let's go um, and install this car. So this is gonna be honeycomb grill with the steel wheels. That's the car that I wanna do. So the user who created this car, he's saying here that we'll need to make sure that to change the file name to police four first. So these four files will need to rename as police four. So most files that you download, you actually won't have to do that. The creator will give the names that are appropriate for this. But in this case, he gave us the option in case we wanted to install the, the car somewhere else. Um, one thing to keep in mind, always keep this plus hi and underscore hi, so don't get rid of that. All we're doing is we're replacing cvpi3 with police4. 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 <clears throat> Police four. All right, so we have four files which match the names of these four files exactly. Next, what you need to do, and this is very easy, you have to go in edit mode, so click on edit mode. If you try and drag these four files over here and try to replace it without going to edit mode, it's not gonna work. So do yeah. click on edit mode, it's going to tell you all changes will automatically be saved. Do you want to continue? Say yes. Then grab all four files. And we're going to replace them. Just drag and drop into here. And that's it. All four files have been replaced. You can click on edit mode again to disable it. Close out of here. We don't need that. And to double check that we've done this correctly, you can double click again on police4.yft and you will see that we have a different car now. Um, so this is the undercover Crown Vic that we've just downloaded. As you can see there is uh, different accessories and obviously the car just looks completely different. So we've done this correctly and now we'll be able to select this car. But before we do that, there is one more step in the installation instructions. And this is where he recommends us to replace the vehicles that made a file. And that is because every car has a different handling. And some cars have different accessories. And all of those accessories reside within this file. And they have to have their own attributes. Um, not going to get into that too much. Um, but essentially just replace the vehicles that made a file with the one included. And to do that, he gave us the path over here as well. So we'll follow that in Open 4. So it's going to be GTA 5. You can just click back on GTA 5 here. And we're going to go to Update. Update that RPF. Common. Data level GTA 5 and vehicles that made a file is right over here and what I'll do is I'll back this up just in case as well always back up your files guys this is very important so right click extract and I'm actually going to throw it in the same folder uh, as I did before so select it and that's that So the file is right over here. What we need to do is, uh, again, we need to set the open for in edit mode. It's going to give you the same warning. You're going to say yes. Now drag and drop the vehicles that made a file. And as you can see, this is not working. And the reason why is because we haven't extracted this file yet. So this is also very important. It's not going to work unless you extract the files from the zip files, from the .rar files, you need to make sure you do that. So 
To extract it, I'm just going to quickly drop it into my desktop. Here it is right here. Now drag it and drop it in here. And now it's now it's updated. You can click on edit mode again to close it. And that's that guys. So two important things. Again, always back up your files is number one. And number two, make sure that you extract the files first from the zip files. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So yeah, guys, um, that pretty much completes the car install. We can just close the open four. We're done here. And the instructions, we have completely completed the instructions. We've installed all our uh, car models into this file. And we've uh, replaced the vehicles that made a file using this path here. So we can close out the installation instructions. And let's launch the game and see if everything works. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly teleport myself to one of the police stations. So set, set the waypoint here. F4, teleport to waypoint. F4. Alright, we're at a police station here. And let's see if our car has successfully been updated. Alright, we're going to select this police officer. Alright, let's find our undercover car. And here it is. And it has a bunch of different accessories that you can play with. So the light bars are different, which is kind of cool. It has the spotlight if you want to include that. It has different antennas in the back. What is this? Some kind of accessories inside the car. Uh, we have the bars up front. We have actually two different bars that you can select from. Or have no bars. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's actually use one of the bars here. And select and continue. And that's it guys. You have a nicely working car in the game. All the lights look pretty awesome. And this undercover car is obviously way better looking than the one that comes with the game originally. Alright, so now that we know that this has worked, let me show you how to update the textures. Okay, so I've downloaded the textures, um, the one that I've showed you guys in the beginning of this video, the 4K. So I'm going to open it up, and he's got a lot of different, um, different textures, and they all look different. Alright guys, so let's open up the README. The one I will want to replace is the CHP one. Just double click on this. It'll have several images here. And these are all just textures. And if we take a look at them, that's all there is. You see the first three, <clears throat> and they are pretty similar. And the only thing is that, uh, that do change is the numbers that are going to appear on the roof and the actual license plates. And this is the all white model. Um, but basically, it's just an overlay that goes over the car. And I won't be installing the all white one, we'll just do the three black ones. Um, so every time you spawn a car, it, it'll have one of these three different numbers. So it's pretty cool. Alright, so if you remember the police for that YTD file that we replaced not too long ago, we need to go find it because that's what houses all of the textures. And this is what he's kind of telling us. Replace these textures. And if you wanted to include the fourth one, you could as well. In that file, in the police, that YTD. So we're, we're going to close that. 
and we're gonna open open four click on Windows again and we need to follow that same path we did before where we installed police four vehicle if you're replacing textures of a different car you just need to find that same file exactly where you installed it so the, the one we replaced was an x64e it was under levels GTA 5 vehicles.rpf let's go find it it's the police 4 files that we've replaced not too long ago and here they are and let's double check again by clicking on police 4.ytf just to make sure it's the same car and it is so we can close this so the instruction said to replace textures within the police 4.ytd file so again first thing is you need to set open 4 in edit mode it's going to give you that same warning message click yes double click on police 4.ytd file and you will see all kinds of different textures right from the interior from the wheels um, exterior it this file pretty much houses all of the textures for this car so we need to scroll down till we find the exterior textures and here it is it's a cvpi underscore sign underscore one all right so what we want to do is we want to replace this texture and this is just the all gray texture with one of our chp textures so to do that you just click on replace and we need to find this folder so this was our cvpi pack double click on here it's located in chp and let's click on this one cvpi underscore sign underscore one say open and that's it it replaced that file you could also import the other two or three textures to do that just click on import you can click on cvpi underscore two and three and that's what I'll do here click on open select OK and you've successfully imported the other two once we've done that click on save and that should be done click on edit mode to cancel the edit mode so essentially what we've done here is we went into the texture file we replaced the gray texture with one of our CHP textures and imported the other two into that same texture file so now if we go back into the game that is it guys that's all it takes to uh, import textures into the car so if we, we launch the game and find it, it should have our CHP textures instead of the unmarked texture. Alright, so let's teleport to the police station again. Gonna set the waypoint here. F4, teleport to waypoint. There we go. All right, we're going to select this police officer. And let's find our car. And here it is. It's the undercover car with our CHP textures. And of course, it'll have the same accessories as the previous car. Uh, let's do this ram bar here. It looks pretty sweet, guys. Um, so let's select and continue. 
And that's that. That's our highway patrol texture on this car. Pretty successful um, and very simple to do. Just take your time and you should have no issues. looks pretty sweet anyways I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys but to summarize um, always set the open for in edit mode always back up your original files and always extract your files from the zipped files if you guys have any issues or questions feel free to comment below and I'll try and help you guys as much as I can Alright, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you liked it, you know what to do. And as always, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.